Hello, Ani. My name is Peggy McGregor and I'm the Executive Director for Namazo and Health Services. Today um, we are in the Healing Lodge, a very important place um, that Namazwin Health Services and Nojmoin Tech Health Centre jointly focus on, um, the healing of the people. Namazwin Health Services has been in existence for uh, 20 years. So the video that we're showcasing today uh, focuses on those successes within each one of the First Nation communities of Whitefish River, Shaguinda, on deck Omnikani, Shishigwani First Nation, and Zhibosing First Nation. I just want to say happy anniversary to Namaz and Health Services because, as I mentioned previously, we were we have been in existence for uh, 20 years, and like a um, child going through the developmental stages, we have we have had our challenges. Um, however, we've proven to be a resilient organization. And moving forward as an organization, I can assure you that um, tradition and culture will be the foundation of everything that we do. And um, that we will listen to communities' needs and wants and um, reallocate resources accordingly and um, make sure that we uh, advocate on your behalf, um, along with the leadership in the First Nation communities, being the chiefs and the councils and the health directors helping the, um, the uh, frontline workers, our technicians, our helpers and healers to be able to um, move this healing movement forward and to um, build stronger, healthier communities. We watch. The training we had to the different five First Nations, one consisted of the assist training where we had four trained trainers and um, they are still continuing to provide this service to the First Nation communities on and off reserve. We also have the uh, Red Path training. We had 12 successful candidates participate in that one and they are doing individual training within their own First Nations communities as fac facilitators. We also did the mental health first aid to assist all um, by First Nations to make sure everyone is up to date in their mental health areas. And Turtle Concepts provided all these workshops to build these youth's self-esteem, confidence building within a matter of three sessions, which followed by a fashion show with everyone in attendance, which was well received by the First Nation communities and not also them, but the youth. And another thing uh, Manazwin offers is uh, uh, PSW, uh, uh, chiropodists, a lot of foot care, diabetic, um, dietitians, uh, you know, just about everything to do with uh, one's health. And uh, it's been very positive. Uh, we're really growing together and, and utilizing Manazwin as much as we can in, in Shaguan, the First Nation. Namadzuin, they provide, they provide very good services to the communities here, eh? Uh, they work with uh, out west, west end, Shag, Birch Island, and uh, AOK. Uh, I'm a recipient of, uh, of the services they offer. Okay, one of the things that Shagwanda First Nation um, was in collaboration with with Manazawin Health Services was um, Turtle Concepts. They had a youth retreat which helped engage the, the high-risk youth of our community and other youth for a leadership program and empowering the youth and to help them engage in the services from our, our First Nation and Manazawin. And another thing that they had in the same kind of uh, avenue was the youth retreat that they had, which was sponsored with um, Nazwin Health Services and the five First Nations. So we were a part of that as well. Manazwin Health Services in it is in its second year in its candidacy to be a best practice spotlight organization with the Registered Nurses of Ontario. 
Um, we are the first First Nation agency in the whole world that is in its candidacy and in our third year in 2018 we will be celebrating our designation. Uh, my name is Craig Abatoswe. I'm the uh, manager for the Mental Health Department for Namadzwin Health Services. As part of the Mental Health Department, we have myself and two others, Belinda Bartlett and Paul McDonald. And we provide mental health counseling services in the five First Nations, being Shagwenda, Ondek Omnikaning, Whitefish River, Shishigwaning, and Jibasing First Nation. And uh, as part of those services, we visit uh, each of the communities either meeting the clients in the, in the health centers or accommodating them with home visits if required. And the staff members uh, are very professional. They do the best they can to come to the communities to service the members, which uh, we've never had before. Uh, in, um, Especially the elders uh, program, uh, they uh, appreciate all the help that they get from the services and the transportation they get now for uh, medical uh, appointments to Sudbury and Espanola or uh, Little Current or Minamoya, which they never had before. Minamadzwin Health Services offers every Anishinaabek person the ability to work at their own health. Um, and that's an important tenor of who we are as Anishinaabek. Miigwech. Um, Namadzwin has always taken Shishigwaning's community needs very seriously and we meet with the executive director on a monthly basis now um, to kind of get feedback and share ideas and innovative uh, ways of servicing our communities, not just Shishiguanin, but all through the island. Miigwech to the staff of Namadzwan Health Services for continuing to work with our communities. We appreciate it. Miigwech. There's workshop after workshop on diabetes and health care and foot care. All of that stuff never existed 20 years ago. Now with Namadzwan Services being here with the First Nations, there isn't nothing we can't find out about. Now we have all kinds of services. We have services about children, services about how parents can become better parents, services on how to make your babies healthy, as in the Healthy Babies Program. That stuff never existed when I first started here in Jeep Austin. So now with the Monzo Health Services, we have all these things to help all of our people, to educate them on how to live a healthy life home. That's my thought in the Monzo. So the elders and, and the uh, turtle concepts Everything is, is uh, kind of put together of what they can do for our community. And the Menomodzin looks at people's individual needs, the youth needs, and they, they look at a plan and how, how they can incorporate that to, in, in all the educational tools in, in, tools in regards to health to make things better through a happy learning method to uh, uh, and, and they don't even realize that they're being educated on things because it's so much fun for them, right? And that's what they like and that's, what they, that's why Men of Odds and can attract those numbers to their events because they decided that they have a different way of, of methods of doing things, right? To incorporate learning and, and, and fun together and I think that's a concept that all our programs should be using to make things better for people and make, increase the attendance actually at a lot of these events. Namadzwin Health Services also played a key role in having Orange service Western Manitoulin through our helipad located in Chishiguaning. This reduces patient transfer times in an emergency where every second counts. The personnel that are working there are very uh, knowledgeable in what they do, they're experienced, and uh, they provide a real good service. How many good? We have many activities happening within your communities on a weekly basis. For updated information on those activities happening in your community, give me a call here at Namadswin or visit our Facebook page. 
So those are the, the, the good things that Metamodzin does for our people and even the youth of the community, right? They, they're, they see them as uh, role models for themselves, right? And they want to attend. I want to say that everyone is welcome here at Namazwin and Notwan Tech Health Center and I hope to see you soon. Miigwech. <laughs>